This is um, Z Black Fox back here again. Um, I'd just like to do a little bit of a tutorial on, uh, or, I don't know if you call it a tutorial, but I'm showing how I create my rubber farm. Now, uh, in when you go into your uh, your craft book or your cookbook, or even in this too many items list, uh, what you find in there is actually a um, wherever it is is a rubber tree harvester and a rubber tree farm. I've got one thing to say about those two, ignore them. I've tried to find recipes on them, how to make them and that, I've found recipes, they don't work and you don't actually need them. So I'm going to show you how to make a, a um, uh, rubber tree farm. Okay, what I was saying before um, about the uh, not find the recipe for the tree, the rubber tree harvester and the rubber tree farm. Um, well, there doesn't seem to be any as far as I can tell. What you do is you replace the rubber tree farm with a boring term or whatever you like to call it. <laughs> they give these things some crazy names. But anyway, you replace it with that. The uh, rubber tree harvester you replace with the logger. And this tree tap unit, the recipe is there, so uh, that's the other part you'll need. But yeah, that's what it is. Um, just replace those, because after all, that is actually how you what you use for a normal tree farm, and it's basically the same as a normal tree farm, except for you've got a tree tap. So that's what you use. There you go. Okay. So let's get started. Um, I've marked out the middle where I'm going to put it. So from there on, I do the usual digging trick. Two down, and let's go for a run. Oops. Okay, we've got our trench, same as usual. Um, I could have enough room, I might go off that way. So we start with the, like every other farm I, use, I do, we have the cobblestone, the stone going in, the cobblestone going out. If I keep to routine, um, it makes it easy to remember and yeah, makes it easy to remember and it's less likely to go wrong. So, let's see, let's get this going. So, we have Colstain going in, so, whoops. Whoops. Right now on here I put a directional. Then I'm going to put one of these new ones on. I'll explain a bit about the form. They calls an insertion pipe. That's saying um, if the unit next to it, it wants some more, it says whatever is coming up in this place. And in this case, it's saplings. Um, if there's one missing in there, we'll say get in there. If not, continue on. It's um, <coughs> It's a good little unit because um, if you just have the pipe up there, uh, it might every second one or every third one might go in. But with this one, every one of them's got a choice to go in or keep on going. So we've got that going up there. Then we've got now these things are actually made from two pieces of stone, one on either side with a glass in between and a redstone on top. So it's actually a stone pipe. So you can't connect a cobblestone pipe up to it. You can connect 
pipes like the iron pipe, the diamond pipe, the ones that lift different pipes connect up to them, but cobblestone can't. It's a, actually a stone pipe. So I'm going to connect the stone pipe up to it. Another one of the um, directional pipes, and now we go onto the cobblestone pipe. Back out. Now, one more thing on this one. On the actual unit, um, on the actual unit itself, what's going to happen there? There's two actual parts where things come out. One is on top, one is on the side. Now, whoa, what does that's that one? I'm pretty sure. Well, we'll fix it up in the afterwards anyway, I think. That one. Is it? No. Well, what have I got down here? Oh, going good today. Um, stick to power one. That way we can see where we're actually going. Have I got power pipes out there? They're already down there. So, two, three, going down. There we go. So that one's actually got to go one more across, doesn't it? I know what I did. I put the pipes on a different side. Doesn't matter. <coughs> okay. Okay. Okay, we've got the stone pipe taking things in, and the cobblestone pipe taking things out. Right, so let's put the units. Oh, we've got three units too. Don't forget that. Mustn't forget the third unit. Whoops. Okay, we've got the farm. The harvester and the one that collects the sap. So we put that one there, which is. I totally forgot its name, didn't I? Yeah, tree tap. Yeah, that's right. So we've got the tree tap there. We've got the farm in the middle, the middle of the square one there, and we've got the harvester there. Now like I said with the harvester, now usually you only got down the side, right? So in this case for the harvester you've got the blocks of timber coming outside and out the top you've actually got the um, the tree sap or the, the uh, from the tap itself that comes out the top of that and you've got the saplings coming out of that. So we just want to put them all together to go back down, so they go back out. Alright, so let's... Oh, spanner. Make sure these things are going the right direction. Alright, that one's got to go down. Right, that looks right. Let's do some covering up. So far so good, we're all ready to go there. If I forgot something down here, of course I have. What about power? 
Das ist so die Dörfer. Chicken here in the background is someone watching. Um, I forgot one of the pipes. Yeah. Oh, I hate searching for things like this. Um. So somewhere Ah, oh, there we go. Power switch pop. Alright, have we got any levers? Yes. We have levers. You can actually attach the lever to the side of these. That's pretty cool. So, that's it so far, so we've got, uh -huh. so we've got the three units, tree farm, the uh, blogger, and one that cl clicks the sap, the, uh, yes, rubber tree sap. Okay, now let's start this end. Right. <clears throat> so we've got that coming out, the pipe where everything comes out, which is the uh, cobblestone pipe. The cobblestone pipe comes out. So we connect a diamond pipe to it. Right, and what do we want from diamond pipe? Um Right, what do we want? The saplings. So we need a chest to put the saplings in. I hope I'm doing this right, because I've been going really wrong lately. Chests to have the saplings in. Ooh, almost forgot. I almost forgot. Now, what we need on there is actually one of these pipes, right? Insertion pipe is called. And what we do is we have the chest there, right? And um, whatever comes out of there, we only want the saplings, so we put that doesn't. That was a good trick. Tell it to take the saplings to the chest. Right, and um, from there we have cobblestone pipe. Oh, I'm running out of cobblestone pipe. I probably went past him again, did I? Cobblestone pipe, transport pipe, whoop. Okay. Now we've got a directional pipe on there, perfect. <coughs> right. So, what happens here is that we go up here, we want the saplings to go in there, right? But if that is full, we need the saplings to bypass that. So if we connect. Connection lost. Connect cobblestone pipe to that. Of course, we need a directional pipe on that because the cobblestone won't 
nothing up to that, and we need directional pipe, so nothing goes up that way anyway. So, let's make sure that's facing the right direction. Right, so, whatever's left, we go through there. Seedlings go through there, but if that's full, bypass that, and we go to down to there. Right. Um, I am going to try to build a plant down there. Um, you can check on uh, my other videos on uh, what is going on there or what I'm trying to gonna create down there and uh, you might want to follow it. But for now, so we've got stuff going through there, so it's there right now. On the way out, what I'm going to do is there's a new pipe called an advanced extraction pipe. Right, it's an advanced wooden uh, transport pipe. Right, I'm going to stick one of those on there. Right, with that, I am going to stick motor and my famous sequencer. Right, so. We have that. The sequencer behind it. Now I could use a time though no, you can't use a timer because the timer um, just gives a quick pulse. And this one if you watch it, it actually turns it on and turns it off when it gets to the next one. So it's not a quick pulse, it stays on for a while. Long enough for that to start up and get going. Now there we go. Cobblestone pipe. Right. Now, what the idea of this? Let's go in the gap. Now, this transport pipe, the, the extraction pipe, the wooden pipe, the advanced one, you've actually got the choice of what you want to come out. Now, you can do. We'll have the trees, and we'll also put that in there. Because later on, uh, we want to, in the factory, be able to create the hummus blocks and send them down here automatically. So, but that's in the future. But I'll stick that in there for now. And um, right. And what happens here is that now in the chest, because it only wants to pull those two out, what I can do is actually. Any blocks, doesn't matter what they are, I can, you can put in there because you don't really want to fill the whole chest up with uh, seedlings um, because you want to use them down the other end of the factory. So uh, you're only using this one as a stopping place, so um, you only need two, only need two um, spots, and you don't need any more than that. And um, okay. Yeah, sorry about that. We have a bit of an inter interruption there, but anyway, um, as you can see, uh, I think we've got it all set up. We've got that going in there. We've got that set up to bypass if it's full. Uh, we've got our tree in there. Okay, now what we're going to do here? We're going to fill one side with hummus box. And the other side with saplings. So, one thing left to do, and that's to turn it on. See what happens. Okay, away we go. Okay, so we can see that our farm is all set up. We've got a tree growing already. That looks nice, doesn't it? So let's see what happens here. Oh, now, when it t the tree starts lobbing, you see it changes from the hummus to sand. Now, 
that's going to keep on happening every time. So that's where you got to keep up the homers. Now, there you go. There's tree sap there. And we've got had the wood going down, coming out the side and going down. All right, we should. When the tree starts, so you got the wood coming out the side. All right, when the leaves start start deteriorating, going away, they drop the saplings. The saplings will get picked up by the harvester, and should see them coming out the top. Well, I think I've just seen one drop. Yep, yeah, look at that, coming out the top. So everything seems to be working fine at this end. And what do we got here? <coughs> so we've got the wood coming up. Now uh, the wood should go that way and out that way. Look at my pumpkin seeds and all that sort of things. Okay. Oh, that goes off down that way. We've got a sapling. No, the tree sap should go that way too. Yep, there it goes. Where's the sapling? Come here, sapling. Ah, here comes one now. Alright, we've got the same tree sapling coming up here. And, um... It should go straight through the dime pipe here and into the chest. And there it goes now. This intersection here, if the chest is full, go that way and it joins the rest down there. Okay, there it goes, back out again, and off, back to the farm. So everything seems to be working right. So there you have it, a rubber tree farm. Thank you very much for joining me, this is Z Black Fox, and happy minecrafting. Catch you all later, thank you.